hey y'all welcome back to my channel my name is simon rare and you're watching simon Red tarot and today i'm coming back with another pick a card reading this pick a card reading is going to be about what do your parents say about you to others so we're going to check and see what have your parents been saying to you about others whether you be an adult or whether you be like a teenager or whatever we're just going to kind of see What's call number three's parents saying about themselves? What is call number two's parents saying to them about I miss you guys. Right now, I'm on my daily menstruals. <laughs> so, it's been hard for me to upload because I've been in a lot of pain. Like, I don't know why I get, like, extreme pain. But I've been in a lot of pain. I've been, you know, just trying to recharge and, and rest because I do have, like, a couple things coming up with my makeup company and my, um, my creative direction company. So, I've been tired. So, sometimes I take days of rest. So, I just took a few days of rest to myself. So, I hope you guys aren't too disappointed in me. I have been doing um, a lot of same-day readings because I am having a sale, a $25.99 sale, where you get three questions and I do your reading, upload a video like this, and do your reading the same day. So, I have gotten, thank you guys so much for all the support. I have gotten a, a lot of readings, so I've been doing that. I think I uploaded at least like eight of them today. So... And the sale doesn't end until 12 a.m. tonight. So, you know, I've uh, been uploading those. Thank you guys for your patience and everything. You guys have helped me out a lot. Because I'll be able to invest that money into the channel. Getting me some new decks. Getting some new, like, um, aesthetically pleasing stuff for the desk. Some crystals. I'm also going to put it into my other business, my um, which is basically a, a female wellness business with the makeup and all that. So if you're interested in that, check out that YouTube channel. But yeah, so I really appreciate you guys. But with that being said, we're going to get started with this reading. What is your parents thing while she wait and see? <clears throat> Okay, so for some of you guys, some of y'all guys may have been like a little bit of a problem child. Like, I'm getting too serious stories here. Some of you guys might have been like a little bit of a problem child. Maybe you guys had a temper. Or some of you guys, sometimes it don't even be that you have a temper. Sometimes it be that you don't take no shit. Because sometimes people, like, let's say your family is like all like Christians. And I'm not coming at Christians, you know, I respect everyone's religion. Let's say they're all Christians though, right? And they believe in, you know, they don't they don't support gay marriage and they they um believe that you know stuff you know just stuff that's kind of controversial but you don't want to believe in that you you believe that love is love you believe that you want to support everyone you believe that people are not going to hell because they want to try psychedelics or are in love with someone that's the same sex like you don't believe that stuff right so they feel like to them you would be like a little bit of a problem child or just you know different right so why say by that is they're trying to wait and see like where you're going with this like why are you so different why do you stand out why do you check your own path some of you guys maybe everybody in your family that went to college and went to some type of schooling and got married young but you're like no i want to be a youtube blogger and i want to travel the world and honestly i don't even know if i want kids you get what i'm saying so they're kind of trying to wait and see like where your life is going to end up like so they kind of tell 
they tell their um their parents about you so they might be like oh yeah my daughter does this or my son does this or for some of you guys my stepson or stepson does this right but they kind of have an unsure ability about it and they might say oh my stepson thinks that he's going to be the next james charles or whoever that is you get what i'm saying so that they, they say kind of stuff like that so they're basically waiting to see like where your life is headed where your life is going to end up and like how things are going to go for some of you guys, y'all may have been like have been on drugs or been and I haven't nobody's judging you here, but you may have been on drugs or been um I had a few ha bad habits. Some of you guys may have in, even been like incarcerated before and they're trying to see like if you're gonna make a turnaround. So they keep a lot of your parents do believe that you will though. They always telling people like, Yeah, well, you know, Casey had overdosed, but I know she's in, you know, her her drug program and she's getting better and I know that she's gonna get better, right? So it may be that. Some of you guys may be in toxic relationships and they talk about that and they know like, Oh, I know that she's gonna leave and I know she's gonna be great. And if they if you are in a toxic relationship or toxic marriage like that like your mom does talk to your father about it they feel like maybe they shouldn't get involved but they feel like you're gonna end up leaving on your own whether you're a man or a woman they just feel like eventually you're gonna see what they see in this person and you're gonna end up leaving them. so they're um gonna black so they're confident about that what does pile number one's parents say about them What's pile number Some of our parents, some of you guys' parents do feel like you guys were spoiled. And some of you guys may not agree with this. But some of you guys, maybe they spoiled you financially. You know what I'm saying? Maybe they spoiled you with giving you the necessities. You get what I'm saying? Or they feel like, because sometimes Caribbean parents, especially, they feel like, or they feel like, and I don't know what made me say Caribbean. They feel like, oh, I gave you food. I gave you water. I gave you shelter. We, we ain't have shit in my country. You're spoiled, right? But in reality, that's what you're supposed to do. And yes, in that country, it would be spoiled. But in America, most people, like, not, I'm going to say not most people, but a lot of people have those things, so it's not spoiled, it's a necessity, and those who don't have them live in poverty, if that makes sense. So, they feel like if you were a problem child or you're a little bit different, because some of you guys are cause issues legally, financially, and other you are just different. Like, y'all just don't agree with the same views as your family. So, they call you, they deem you as a, a problem child, when in reality, you're just different. You get what I'm saying? So... They, they say they gave what little do they have to you, whether it be knowledge, whether it be monetary, whatever they gave to you, they feel like they gave gave and gave to you, but it's like all you do is take, 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 and they don't understand it. They're saying that they don't understand, like, how you could always want more. Maybe some of them gave you, uh, gave you a lot of, like, uh, for some of you guys who weren't, like, living in poverty, maybe they gave you a lot of um, monetary gifts and equated that to love because some parents love some parents love is um some parents love is um love language is giving is giving gifts not realizing like okay it's okay to give gifts but at the same time you have to give love and attention like there are rich kids that grow up and they feel neglected and they become you know not so great people because they wasn't shown they wasn't showing that love so that's what they don't understand so maybe they're giving you more one thing or giving you affection but maybe you can't count on them for like finances maybe y'all ain't really have maybe your man maybe your mom and dad loved you but y'all ain't really have shit growing up you get what i'm saying so it's like it's kind of that but so they feel like they gave and gave what they did have or what they deem to think that you need it but they feel like you're being greedy because you're always asking for more what but what, what i'm feel, picking up in the reader is not that you're asking for more because you're greedy is there asking for more because you feel like you deserve more you do deserve more they feel like time is running out between you guys to fix you guys relationship you guys are all getting older and they don't really know like what's going to happen like how the future is going to be in between you guys and honestly this could be this is like the somebody's deep inner thoughts so even if everything is fine you talking to your parents everything cool this is this, these are thoughts they could have like in conversations that they do have when they're by themselves or with their friends or with other family members specifically someone's grandmother someone's mom is talking to someone's grandmother and somebody's talking to their husband which would be your father whether it's your stepfather or um um your biological father but they're just saying like they're they hope that they can we can do like some type of relationship with you but i wouldn't like um I wouldn't like over I wouldn't like overthink it because some of you guys it's just because you're different. Sensuality. Some of them 
some of them feel like you a little bit too that's why i say some of you guys may come from like a really conservative christian home or something like that because some of them do feel like you just way too sexy like you be being too sexy the people you're around too sexy everything i do with sex or you're like very fashionable and your family don't understand that because maybe your family's like a plain dressing ass family like you know they go to walmart they get themselves a top they get themselves some jeans you guys say they get themselves some sneakers they be chilling you on the other hand like no like you have to go to you have to go get the banana republic jeans you have to go get the express jeans then the tight little you know top you know from sheen you got fashion nova you got like shoes that cost thirteen hundred dollars like you know what i'm saying like you know or it don't have to be to that extent but you know what i mean like you 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 be dressing like you be you be dressing right but they feel like why are you but they feel like that's a little bit inappropriate but really it's the style it's really a sense of style for some of you guys for others of you they just think that you're very inappropriate maybe you guys are a dancer maybe you guys are a stripper maybe you guys do some type of sex work or maybe you guys just you know level up and that's them tight dresses and all that shit is like just different to them you get what i'm saying different type of style you know and that's it's nothing wrong about that because me honestly and i tell you about my life to help you good with y'all like with me honestly they used to always say i dress like a hoochie my mom thinks i dress like a hoochie because she she wears you know regular basic stuff right and it's nothing wrong she looks like a nice young lady but me i'll wear a leather dress with some heels and i'll have my hair dyed blonde and black and i'll have red lipstick on she's like oh that's too much but in reality to me it's not too much like i like to look pop i like to look like a bad bitch because that's what i am so some of you guys might like a like to look like a bad bitch or like just a hot guy right and then but your parents don't quite understand that so they talk about that they talk about how you party a lot they talk about how you always got something to celebrate whether you live with them or not they don't know what you actually celebrate and they think that you're a little bit wild but i feel like you're just having fun they're, I feel like you're just having fun and they're not used to that because you do gotta understand like especially if you're a millennial like my parents think I'm lazy and again I tell you about my life to help you all with yours my parents think I'm lazy because I'm an entrepreneur not realizing I literally fucking do 25 things a day including having a full time job while I need it you get what I'm saying like I literally do 25 things a day like my mom could never you get what I'm saying she could never you know, do she could never walk a day in my shoes but i don't tell her that i don't disrespect her like that but what i'm saying is they don't understand that the new generation is kind of harder it might look like we having fun but we have worked for that fun that we're having most of us have whether you got an only fans whether you do some type of content creation whether you just have a good job like it's okay to have fun a lot of them don't know that it's okay to have fun they feel like everything should be work 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 and when i turn 65 i'll be able to enjoy my life but we don't think like that so it's more of a thing like that of why they think they're having a little bit more too much fun so let's get you some advice if i move on to the next slide Clear your space. So your yeah, advice is if you have a toxic relationship with your parents or not even toxic, they just don't understand you. Just don't worry about it and keep moving forward to like keep moving forward to your pur purpose. Keep walking in your life. Remember, this was going to happen anyway. This was gonna happen anyway. The collective here is now here to wake up the world. So this was gonna happen anyway. So just know that you can love your parents from afar. Like I still love my parents. I still love my family, but they don't understand me. They don't understand what I'm trying to do. So I don't run by, I don't go be like, oh, I'm about to do this, I'm doing that, and expect them to be supportive. I do what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna follow my motherfucking dreams, and I'm gonna get where I wanna get, and then they'll see. So you just don't worry about it. Don't keep trying to convince. Just, you know, if you can't hang around them because they're saying they're disappointed or they don't understand you, you're gonna have to just, you know, be around them less or even cut them off because you can love family and not want to be around them you have to put yourself first power what but that with that being said that's what your parents say about you that's what your parents you know have conversations about you or have said about you before if it resonates please let me know make sure you like this video make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the post notification bell so you can be notified every time i post a video if you're interested in a um personal reading that information is in the description box below underneath the timestamps. if you are interested in enter my free reading giveaway that information is in the description box i mean all you have to do is leave a rare heart in the uh comment section below and i will choose another winner when we hit 3300 subscribers we are 30 people away with that being said i'm moving on to my second pile okay pile number two let's see what your your uh your parents say about you perfect match so your parents feel like like you have a, a bunch of secrets <laughs> they feel like you have a lot of secrets that you don't tell them about they feel like you keep a lot of secrets some of you guys if you guys do live with your parents you probably stay in your room a lot if you guys don't live with your parents some of you guys probably um 
don't come around too often. Like, you know what I'm saying? Or, like, when they do see you, you always have a new story. You be like, yeah, because I was in Canada for four months and da-da-da-da. But you never told nobody that you was going to Canada. So they feel like, their parents feel like they don't really know you. Like, not in a, a bad way. Like, not in, like, a, a disrespectful way. But they feel like they don't really know you. They feel like you do a lot of things without telling them. They feel like you do a lot of things without... um asking for permission well not asking for permission but but like kind of running it by i'm like oh do you think this is like a good idea and maybe in the past you used to do that maybe in the past you used to always value everyone's opinion or like how i and again i tell you about like that girl with yours like how when i was you know at a certain age i used to always feel like i had that get someone's opinion before I did something. I was like, oh, I want to open a business. Let me ask my friend, should I do it? Let me ask my mom, should I do it? They feel like you don't do that anymore. You kind of just go and do what you want to do and feel how you want to feel. So that, so they're saying that um, that you're a lot, like that you have a lot of secrets that you keep inside. They wish they knew more about you. Some of, your, some of your parents are saying that they thought you were lazy at one point in time, but they're, they're understanding that you're just, educated differently so you know how to make money easier they feel like they also saying that you don't um you don't tolerate stress anymore you put yourself first you make sure somebody's mom is very proud but well, she is also very jealous because maybe at a certain point in time she probably took a lot of drama in her life she probably i'm seeing somebody already had somebody's mom is a blonde and she probably wears them like little two pieces or something she might be a nurse because you know them little two pieces that uh, nurse she's wearing with the zipper i've seen a, a woman in that a caucasian woman she's blonde like dirty blonde She's like a little skinnier. She, I think you guys have a lot of brothers. And you might be the only girl or something like that. But she, she was stressed out a lot. She has a nice house though. Y'all have do have a nice house, but nice big house. But like she feels like she was stressed out a lot of a point in time. Um, uh, and she didn't really put herself first, right? So regardless of whether that's not because that's a specific sign for someone. But regardless, like I feel like your mother or whoever that was the dominant parent feel like they stress themselves a lot. They feel like they kind of put their life on a back burner because they didn't know they, they because they they felt like that's what they had to do. So they never really had like a a great um, relationship with themselves. They never really had a great. Um, self time but they feel like you found a perfect balance for that so yes they are jealous because you found out how to do that but at the same time they're very proud of you because it's like they don't see you going through things that, that you're doing that you maybe you didn't have kids young maybe you chose to not get married young maybe you did get married but you guys chose to put a cap on number of kids i don't have kids yet or you chose a partner that was just at least like wasn't as stressful as the partner they chose or something in life or you just always find time for yourself and they feel you know they they, they admire that they feel like whatever you're doing now in life they feel like for a long time maybe you didn't know what you wanted to do in life or maybe you, you know you still don't know but like you still don't know but it's like you're trying things but they see they already because your parents already know your parents know when you're happy and when you're not right because they've been around you so long so especially parents who care and this is a parent that did care you know they probably was stressed up but they did care they do care right so you probably doing something right now you're not so sure about it right maybe you're an artist but you look so happy and this is the happiest you've ever been so they feel like this is the they feel like this is the um they feel like this is the um This is the right thing for you, but you probably, you just don't know it yet, but this is definitely the right thing for you. So they're saying that. And they're saying it's only a matter of time before you realize that this is your life path, where your life is going to go. And they feel like it's perfect for you. Can we get one quarter of the time? How does call number two's parents feel about them and what do they say about them? abundance so your parents are saying about you whatever you got going on whether it's a new job whether it's a new business whether it's a consecration or influence or whatever they feel like it's going to bring you lots of abundance and friends and money and accomplishments and and, and and emotions they just have it for you they feel like a lot of abundance is coming towards you they feel like maybe you guys have been working hard and maybe you guys are really hard on yourself and you can't see how far you've become or how far you're going but they see it and they're so proud of you and they feel like the abundance is coming and they hope that you see it as well Some of your parents, some of your parents feel like that. I'm sorry, guys. Hold on. I'm hearing give to me, give to me. I don't know. But like, I'm not getting a greedy energy. 
Because I am hearing give to me, give to me, right? And usually I will feel like, okay, why are you asking your son or daughter to give to you, right? And why are you being greedy? But it's not a greedy thing. I just feel like maybe your parent had worked so hard and been, they've been, you know, semi, at least some of you guys, they've been really good. Some of you guys at least been decent, right? They did what they could. Like, I don't feel abusiveness in this pile, no. They feel like once you get to where you're supposed to, where you're supposed to be at and where you're going in life, you're going to be giving to them. They feel like you're going to be you're going to be helping them. You're going to be taking care of them, and they feel they're looking forward to that. So they do say that. So don't don't get offended. Like all oh, the friends, they feel like in old age, they feel like they can trust you to take care of them based on how you're taking care of yourself right now and the things that you're working towards. So they're thinking like, okay. I did a good job and now they're going to help me when not when I need it the most. They don't feel abandoned. They, they don't feel like you're going to abandon them. They don't feel like you're going to get rich and cut them off. They feel like you're going to you're going to take care of them and y'all going to be a family. They feel like it was a good you were they invested in you and you're going to invest back in them. You're going to take care of them. So it's not like it's not in a way of oh, I'm going to take all your money. I'm greedy. It's in a way like seriously, your parent will be lucky, will be happy just if they don't have to work. They don't give a fuck if you put them in an old folks home that's like you know of course nice but they're not asking to go on shopping sprees and stuff like that they're just asking to be able to live in comfort you're gonna say be able to live and not be put on the street be able to live and not be homeless and they feel like you're gonna be the child to help them do that they feel like you and if you have brothers and sisters they'll help us all so that how they feel about you is that you're very mature you're very you're going to be if you're not already you're going to be very successful and they overall feel like they did a good job raising you and they're super proud of you. They don't quite understand like you all the time, but they, they, they're, um, they're proud of you. But your, um, advice from the angels is to breathe. So yes, you guys might be grinding, might be working towards the life you want, whether it be in school, college, business, whatever you got going on, oh, marrying a rich man, shit, <laughs> you know, we don't make this. Listen, I ain't judging y'all, but they want you to breathe. They want you to they, they, the spirit wants you to breathe. Spirit wants you to focus. Spirits want you to know that everything's not going to happen overnight. So just calm down and stay the course. Slow and steady wins the race. Okay? Don't overwork yourself. Don't be trying to get it faster than you need it because if you get it real fast, you're going to lose it real fast. So sometimes things are take a little slower because they're meant to last longer. So remember that. But with that being said, that is your reading pile number two. I hope it resonates. If it does, please let me know. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the post notification bell so you'll be notified every time I post a video. If you are are interested in enter my free reading giveaway all you have to do is leave a red heart in the comment section below if you are interested in in, in getting a personal reading that's that's the information is in the description i should know any of the time stamps right now i am doing same day sales for 20 25.99 um also don't forget to follow on all my social medias and subscribe to my new meditation channel moody meditation so with that being said we're going to move on to my next pop boundaries Okay, pile number three. How your parents are thinking of you right now, they feel like they feel like you don't I'm not gonna say you don't love them no more, because of course you love them, but they feel like you don't show them love no more. They feel like they haven't heard from you in a long time. They feel like and then if you I think some of you guys just got clingy parents. They don't understand that it's time to grow up. Some of you guys might work in corporate America or own a business or just started a business or you know have a something that you have to take care of when you have high status, even if you just like a manager or something like that, or just have like a, a good job. But it's something that you have to do that the surrounding work that is kind of taking you away and they don't quite understand that they're like oh i miss you so much why don't you come over i bake you cookies da, da, da. i just want to talk and they're like listen i'm not in college no more i'm not in high school no more so after my day my day is not done after school right i have to go to work and then i have to go home and do like adult shit like pay bills and stuff like that maybe guys a lot of side hustles and they feel like you're a little bit busy you're a little bit too busy for them because they don't because they can't you know get in contact with you get in touch with you like they used to but they're proud of you though they're proud of you, but they do miss you. They want to get closer to you. They like being in your personal space. They're also on to talk about how they gotta stop like trying to insert themselves in your life and how to how to respect your boundaries. They have to learn how to respect your boundaries. So they're working on that. They say they're going to start working on that. But they do miss you. Sometimes they miss you and it's hard to not be all up in your personal space to see what you got going on. So 
the next thing you got is appreciation. So they feel like a little bit less appreciated. They feel like you don't talk to them as much as you know. So they're talking to, they're talking, they're talking about that. Your mom or dad are both is talking about how they feel like you don't talk to them as much. They feel like you don't have conversations. They feel like you don't have much to say. They feel like you, they feel like y'all used to talk to them about everything. You used to tell them everything. But I feel like some of you guys may have just been a little bit busy lately, or just you know, sometimes you have days like today. I didn't really want to be around nobody. I didn't really want to talk to nobody. Like that's okay. I just want to stay in my house. I I want to do my pick carpenters. I want to eat. I want to smoke. I want to watch TV. Like, you know what I'm saying? And it, that's okay. And, like, sometimes, like, people don't understand that. Especially, like, today's a holiday. Most people want to be with their family, right? Maybe today or other holidays, you felt like you just want to be alone because maybe you're around chaos so much with your work, with your relationships, with your friendships, with yourself, that you just want to be by yourself. And that's totally okay. But they're just, they just feel like that you don't really talk to them that much. They feel like you don't really, you're not around as much. And they're kind of like, you know, they feel a little ways about that, but that's cool. You get what I'm saying? You want to feel a ways about stuff sometimes. And that, that's just how life goes independence but they're they're really happy to watch you shine they're really happy to watch you grow they're really happy to watch you climb the ladder in life they're really happy to watch you be who they they always knew you would be they feel like you're a star but with this being a moon and the sun they do feel like they're a little bit left in the dark and you're so independent especially if it's a mom they probably really feel like you left the nest and like they just want to take care of you and love you and be around you but it's like at some point you gotta understand like your job is done you did a great job i love you for that job you did but it's it's time for me to move on it's time for me to be an adult it's time for me to um it's time for me to move on it's time for me to be an adult it's time for me to to um you know experience new things and that's totally okay and you just gotta you gotta understand that you know saying they have to understand that but i don't necessarily think this is them being like a bad person or nothing like that i just feel like they just a little bit clinky they just a little bit too clinky that's all that's all but they're not jealous. They just a little bit clinky. All right, we're going to get you two more cards before we get you some advice about this reading up. Strength. So right now, they're trying to have the strength to let you go. They're trying to have the strength to allow you to enjoy your life without you, without them, without them interrupting. They're find, trying to find the strength to just kind of let you go. So this is kind of more of an internal battle within them. Some of you guys might be even going off to college or moving away, or you have moved away or went to college or something like that, or you just moved out or something like that, but you moved away from them in a way where they can't quite get to you. And even if you have already been living on your own, maybe you've been a little bit more busy recently. So they're trying to find the strength to like not be so like, oh, everything's about me and I miss my son, I miss my daughter, and realize, okay, my, my son or daughter has a life. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes that can happen, especially if you guys had a single parent. But they are saying they're going to stop, you know, pressing the issue and enjoy the, the times they do have with you. Because, yes, um, they feel like life is too short to be angry. Life is too short to be, you know arguing about stuff that they really don't need to be arguing about so they just want to have fun they want to enjoy the good time so even if you know even if you only come over like maybe once a month they want to enjoy that one time a month that you do come over because they feel like life is too short and life is passing them by so they want to enjoy the time they do have with you left all right we're going to do some advice let me go write this power up You got to clear your space. All right. I was trying to pick another one, but they were like, no, that's what we're going to need. So I had said this. You don't have to watch another pod camera with the power I had that I said this. But they're saying the same thing. Like, listen, I, I know you might love your parents or your parents might love you or whatever. Right. Or you might, you know, I know that. But what I am saying is. Spirit is telling you, like, if somebody is being, like, overly clingy or stop you from doing something or you got to concentrate or you're a season in your life, you have to concentrate on yourself. Don't be ashamed of that and just keep doing that. Your parent, I, I know parents are not always going to be here, so make time where you can. But remember, like, you have to move forward. You can't allow negative energy to keep you back. And this is not negative energy personally. This is, like, just someone who has, you know, some maybe some abandonment issues, maybe some abandonment wounds or, you know, separation issues, anxiety issues. But that's something they have to work on their own. And, again, with the strength car like i said earlier they are working on it they are working on you know growing their strength and, and, and learning not to be upset and learning you know not to uh and, and learning not to um to be mad that you're not around because sometimes you're just not gonna be around they gotta accept that 
But with that being said, that is your reading pile number three. I hope it resonates. If it does, please let me know. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hit the post notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a video. If you're interested in a, a um in a um enter my free reading giveaway, all you have to do is leave a rare heart in the comment section below. If you're interested in a personally reading, that information is in the description box below. I hit the time stamps. With that being said, I will see you guys in my next reading. Bye.